Yeah, I'm still pretty furious about this whole boiler business. But anyway, now we have another room. So slowly I get to know all the hotels here along this road. This is now only 50 Bolivianos, so two beds, private shower and bathroom. The toilet is very interesting. I have no idea how I fit here to do business. Oh, 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 oh. No, yeah. But now we stay two nights here, so I need to calm down and think what to do and look some options. And I think Peto also needs some rest. We have been out driving so much lately, so long days and so on. Yeah. Yeah, not my best day. I forgot Petos leash outside the bike in Uyuni and don't remember where I now found it, but it looks a little bit suffered. You want to see my camera? Yo. Huh? What do I have there? Huh? Petro is a weirdo. Yo. Petro is a weirdo. You such a cute you hmm? oh. option one was to go from Cupinaca to San Pedro de Atacama to Chile and that would be across the lagunas, some 300 km gravel road unknown of the condition. And of course there would be the risk that uh, Petro would be again access denied in Chile. Yeah, the next option would be to go back to Potosi, get the papers in shape and then go back to the same border crossing. But with this way of harassment, I a little bit doubt that this would be a good option. The next option I figured out would be to go to Tubisa. But uh, as I figured out, this would be also all gravel road and again mostly condition unknown between Uyuni and Tupiza. And then I would need to get new papers in Tupiza and then go to Argentina. So the last option would be to minimize the gravel road, which would mean that go to Uyuni and then from Uyuni via Potosi to Tupiza. That would be all paved after Uyuni then. Have to get then the papers for Petro for Argentina.
I'm now in some hostel somewhere along the road. Yeah, and this uh, last water crossing made everything wet, so I have to try now the stuff. And, uh, well, I think it was a big mistake to come this road. Yes, should have not done that. Uh, because now I have a major problem here. I don't know where it happened, but somewhere on the last hour it must have happened. You see that? Here is supposed to be a nut. And now there is no more nut. And I don't have that spare part with. So, I'm a little bit stuck here now. Let's see what I do. Yeah, so based on the GPS, it's still 122 kilometer to the border of Chile and then maybe 10 or whatever, I guess, before the pavement starts. Oh, what is it? Minus five. Lovely. My hostel clearly marked as such one.